The Red-Eyed Tree Frog by Joy Cowley. Photographs by Nick Bishop. Evening comes to the rainforest. The macaw and the toucan will soon go to sleep. But the red-eyed tree frog has been asleep all day. It wakes up hungry. What will it eat? Here is an iguana. Frogs do not eat iguanas. Do iguanas eat frogs? The red-eyed tree frog does not wait to find out. It hops onto another branch. The frog is hungry, but it will not eat the ant. It will not eat the caddy did. Will it eat the caterpillar? No, the caterpillar is poisonous. Something moves near the frog. Something slips and slithers along a branch. It is a hungry boa snake. The snake flicks its tongue. It tastes frog in the air. Look out, frog! Jump! The frog lands on a leaf far away from the boa. What does the frog see on the leaf? A moth. Crunch, crunch, crunch. The tree frog is no longer hungry. It climbs onto a leaf. The red-eyed tree frog shuts its eyes and goes to sleep. As morning comes to the rainforest, Did you know red-eyed tree frogs live in the swampy parts of the rainforest in Central America? They wake up just as the sun is going down and sit on the branches, calling to one another. Their call sounds like gluck, gluck, gluck. In many pictures in this book, the red-eyed tree frog looks quite big. Really, it is very small. Its body only about two inches long. These two pages show the red-eyed tree frog at its actual size. Tree frogs spend most of their lives in trees. They even lay their eggs in the trees. The female frog glues her eggs onto the undersides of leaves that hang over water. Here, the eggs are safe from their other animals. When the tadpoles hatch, they will drop into the water where they feed and grow until they turn into baby frogs. Then they are ready to leave the water and climb up nearby plants. Special suckers on the tree frog's toes help it climb and cling to leaves. The red-eyed tree frog also has large eyes to help it see in the dark and look for food. It likes to eat insects, but it has to be very careful. Many insects in the rainforest can defend themselves against hungry animals like frogs. Ants can bite, so they are best left alone. Katydids are often big and have lots of spines, so they are hard to swallow. Many caterpillars defend themselves by being poisonous. Moths, flies, spiders, and small grasshoppers are the tree frog's favorite foods. Of course, the red-eyed tree frog also has to watch out that it doesn't become dinner for some other animal. A hungry bat might swoop down and snatch it from its perch or a snake like the baby boa in this book may sneak up on it. The tree frog's green color helps it blend in with its background, making it hard to find. 
A red-eyed tree frog will darken in color when it is frightened. Before daylight turns, the red-eyed tree frog finds a hiding place among the leaves of the trees. It tucks itself it tucks its toes under its chin and belly and flattens its body against the leaf. When it closes its eyes to sleep, only its green back is left showing. It stays hidden until it is ready to wake up again the next evening.